Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up your stormwater network using civil designer software. In this tutorial we're going to import a CAD drawing, create a stormwater file, import entities, pipes and manholes, assign subcatchments and run the analysis. Hopefully that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure if it's all going to work out. There have been some glitches today, but let's get stuck in. The screen that I have at the moment is the standard home page when we open up Civil Designer. I am going to go ahead now and load up my CAD drawing. File, open. I need to find where I saved it. Let's have a quick look. My computer. No, what on earth am I doing? Library, documents. Click, click. We wait, we wait, we wait. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Make some changes here, as discussed in previous tutorials. A0, 1 in a 1000 is what I'm looking for. OK. Negate contours, correct. This is telling me the font style is missing, no problem. And here I have a stormwater network layout. Good. Let me go on and move to the sewer module. Sorry, the stormwater module. That's that one over there. Now I'm going to file project settings, load my terrain file, and now I need to create a stormwater file. Let's go here and create one that says test two, open. I want to create this file, yes. There we go, and now I should be ready. What do I have? I have my, sewer, my stormwater network, and I have my terrain file and I have my outfall which is something I would have prepared in the CAD layout. Good, so now I'm going to extract my network in the same way as I do for the sewer module. File, import, convert drawing entities. Outfalls are on the outfall layer. My links which are the pipes are on the stormwater layer and I'm going to say OK. Give it a second and you can see these grey lines are my network. The arrows indicate the flow direction, the circles indicate the manholes. Good. Now in terms of the stormwater network I now need to go ahead and check some default settings and then also assign subcatchments. Now I'm not going to assign all subcatchments, I'm just going to do one or two to get you started. Right, so in the edit, default settings manual conditions i'm going to change this to soffit because i'd like my stormwater pipes to come in soffit to soffit at this stage diameter i'm going to leave all these defaults as they are notice here that you can change certain parameters i recommend that you don't at this stage for the purposes of this tutorial okay edit design parameters we're not going to use the eludus method we're going to use the rational method and you can see here I have the opportunity to enter in the MAP. Okay, good. So let me go ahead to graphical now and I'm going to add a subcatchment or to follow the text, add subcatchment, input new subcatchment name. I'm going to say S1. All right, and now I'm going to indicate the perimeter of that subcatchment. So I'm going to draw in a random perimeter you are going to have to do this a lot more carefully close subcatchment select the node that the subcatchment must drain to so I'm going to click on this node over here do I want you to drain to now 21 yes I suppose at this stage it should be a good idea to put on the node names but let's first draw in the next thing the drainage path so with your CAD drawing underneath you will construct your drainage path right click to end <coughs> are you satisfied you can have the opportunity here to redraw it I'm going to say yes so the longest length is 0.122 kilometers notice the kilometers it gives the average slope the percentage of drainage path 100% contributes to overland flow percentage of drainage path roughness coefficient paved area so I can specify 
what the cover is. If I have a defined water course, I could, for argument, say 50% and 50% to create different numbers in this particular page. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Brings up the subcatchment data page. Time of concentration here is specified as 0 0.09. Now, this is in hours, and I think your minimum TC is five minutes. So this is something that I edited previously. In this section over here, we can say the catchment characteristics. So what percentage of my area is rural? So let's say north, what percentage is urban? Let's say 100%. And the factor that I want to use, lawns and parks, 40%. 40% residential and streets 20% and that will all add up to 100% I'm going to apply an adjustment factor no I don't want to check that so you see total 100% say ok and if I look at it now you can see that all those parameters are set in a composite factor of 0 0.28 based on the urban runoff coefficient these numbers here can also change, of course. So let's say I wanted to make this not 0.3, but 0.6, which is a bit more realistic. Okay, see this thing change to 0.4. Good, close. I'm now in a position to run my alignment. Let's just have a quick check um, with a calculator. So five minutes divided by 60 to get it into hours. 0.08 so my TC of 0.09 is going to be fine good so analysis oh sorry input new sub catchment name we finish with that for now analysis network specify the design parameters so I'm going to choose a design period of five years mean annual precipitation I'm going to assume it's 750 winter rainfall region time step one minute Area reduction factor? No. Next. We're going to analyze all the nodes. Finish. So the system is now running the analysis in the background. I might get error messages. Often I get error messages. But this page pops up and will tell you soon enough. So the inflow method, rational five years, MAP, winter rainfall, time step one minute, proportional flow depth 100%, number of nodes 21. Outfall node, there it is, outlet level, etc. Design flow, and you can see I have a flow in my system of 0.7 cubic meters per second. Volume of inflow over the design storm, 32 cubic meters, volume and outfall. So everything now was successful in terms of the analysis of my network. This system made the assumption that the stormwater pipes are a certain depth below ground level. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can actually have a look at the alignment and the stormwater pipes themselves. So let's see if, if we can find it. So if we go to graphical and if we have a look, no, it doesn't see to anything there. Analysis, error checking, no, view, no, tools, vertical alignment. Oh, and yeah, I have a vertical alignment, great. Okay, so this vertical alignment is showing me the long section as it is. I have obviously the opportunity to modify things, move mode, move things deeper and shallower. What I'm seeing here is the ground level. These are my pipes as specified, display settings. I can choose to show different things. Okay, good. From here, I would do all the editing of my stormwater network in relation to depth and slopes and all those kinds of things and analyze again, make sure everything works fine. Once that's finished, then I would go ahead and plot my longitudinal sections, which is something for a different video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please come and see me. Also refer to the notes, sorry, the user manual, and look for resources online. Thank you very much for taking part today.